Alrighty, here's another little trick I got for my own flies. You can use it. It's real simple. Here you have your weights. Tungsten, quite spendy. I know from the manufacturer over there in China how much they cost. But you gotta look at packaging and markups and sitting around the shops and they gotta pay their overhead. Pretty much commercial buyers and big time companies get them in the big bags. Then you got the lead. And right here, I'm going to show you what I do. You tie a lot of flies, especially up here in Alaska where the bottom happens to drag a whole bunch of them. Let me get these off. I'll be back. I was saying, up here in Alaska, you flies happen to drag bottom a lot. Do you have to get them on bottom for your salmon? A lot of times, steelhead are sitting in holes. Here's a little something I get if you tie up hundreds of flies for yourself. A little one, a point one seven seven caliber. You can get that at, here again at Walmart. And what it is, it's just little pellets. You want to add some weight. You can add what you want, especially when the large tungsten eyes, as I showed you before, on hiding tungsten eyes get a better ride we're gonna go this way with that and make sure that they lock in there what we're gonna do I'll make two out of this one because we're gonna hide it this one here actually has a tungsten eye up in there right about over here. It's the way I normally tie them, tungsten or leg. Myself, I go this way because I get just a little bit more weight and in the faster water I can get that fly down. If I get four of them here on this two out one out hook, that's even better. Let me get my materials and I'll fit all right, and then we'll just go back, just like search for the Holy Grail 102. Got my holographic silver, great color, steelhead or salmon. And this one here we are going to cut just like normal. Get this one here put in just like this. Trim her off right about there, no short strikes. Pull this one back here. And we'll come in with the orange. Here again, if you read the book, What Fish See by the Optimologist. Oh, all right, sorry, I had to close the door. My little puppy dog trying to beat up on the St. Bernard. Anyway, that book, What Fish See by the Optimologist, put out by Model Publications, I believe, shows you, or he tells you that once they're in the water while salmon, their eyes switch over where they only see the reds and oranges and all. When they first get in there, they're seeing the greens and the blues. Dark blue is a highly underrated used fly, whether for bass, I mean color, whether for bass or salt water. You use a little more for salt water there. Look at that iridescence. It's not used a whole lot for salmon. Nice iridescence on there. And I don't think I have my... Yeah, there they are. Now, 
liquid that there. We can also get on the rat eyes. Y'all know I like the rat eyes. I should say the fish do. So when you get into the swing, it's going to be right side up and your colorations would be backwards. But there's a good way, and if you still want to put your eye on there, I have some water around here I fish that I need a lot of weight on, and I don't like that split shot. So anyway, there's a quick, easy way. It's only been the last couple years that fly fishermen been putting them in when no spoon chuckers, bait chuckers, been having them for going on 10, 20 years. and simple. I got that little forward tie in. But that's all you need right there and that's gonna ride just about right. Here again with that water undulating up she's not really gonna want to switch over too much but if you think that's the case you can tie it upside down. It's more especially if you're in a drift it's going to go on how it's tied on the leader. So even if you want to tie the colorations upside down, a lot of times on how to tie extra weight in there and at the same time there's your salmon fly or steelhead fly and have fun fishing.